Welcome everybody to the channel Level M Diecast Batch Review 2023. This is Matchbox Mix number five. Uh, basically the E-Mix. Uh, this is a case code P for the outer case. This is the first one to take a look at. 37 of 109 International E-Star delivery van in Cargo Couriers Deco. This is a reoccurring Deco. We have seen Cargo Couriers on a number of other vehicles. So nice to see this one continuing to move forward, which is a pretty good touch. Next one up from that, of course, this is one of the better versions we've seen thus far. 2020 Jeep Gladiator in black, number 41 of 100. Does sport that off-road wheel that doesn't seem to make it on too many models. Um, hopefully that changes in the future. We'll see what happens. Uh, next one up after that, this is the uh, 94 Mitsubishi 3000 GT. Uh, this is the uh, second kind of half generation, I guess you can call it. Um, this one is number 68 of 100 in red. We've seen this one in black before. Now this one in red looks really, really, really good. Um, of course, has that nice D10s on there. Moving on from there, 1975 Opal Cadet, number 73 of 100 in orange. It was a brand new casting last year. Really, really nice to get this in just a single color. So I think it's really, really cool. Plus, we get some additional prints on the front, which is always a good thing. All right, brand spanking new casting, Polaris Ranger. This is number 75 of 100. Brand new for 2023. This one looks pretty good. Matte black with some blue print. We'll take a look at that and see, see what its man number is and all that good stuff like that. Uh, next one up, the Tesla Roadster in silver. Number 90 of 100. I'm sorry, 91 of 100. This one looks absolutely fantastic in silver. I think this is a really, really good color for this. Um, we've seen it in uh, kind of a matte red. Of course, we saw the white one for the special edition from Mattel Creations. But if you are super lucky with this batch, you will, of course, pull yourself a 2020 Mercedes-Benz CLA Shooting Brake Super Chase. This is uh, the second Super Chase of the year. First one being the Ford Model A. This one now with the CLA Shooting Brake. This does don the same Style Deco as the Super uh, Porsche from last year. So both German cars, uh, which is a nice, nice flavor. And then just a real small bonus. There is a wheel variation in this case. This is from the previous mix. This was from mix four. It was a brand new casting. This is the Nissan Sentra. Um, it does come with the five spokes. Not all P cases will have this, but it seems to be relatively widespread. So I'll just go ahead and pull this guy out real quick. So although it is in the case, um, it is not technically part of the mix, but it is a factory uh, variation, wheel variation. Did come with the small six spokes, now it has the five spokes, which I think look a uh, million times better. So there is the day code on the bottom, should you want that to try to hunt down the variation. Um, and a little bit of a side note as well. Um, a lot of the cases that have the five spokes appear to have no chases in them. Um, so kind of a hit or miss if you get a chase in a five spoke, but that looks pretty cool. So let's crack them open and get them on the rotator. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we're going to kick this off with our 09 International E-Star delivery van with cargo couriers. This one is a pretty nice one. I mean, it's not a generic. A lot of people might think it's generic. But obviously, this is a licensed casting this is the International E-Star. Uh, Cargo Couriers has been around for quite a few years, um, probably the better part of 10 years um, that they've been using this on various vehicles in various kind of capacities. Um, this one kind of interesting because it gets an additional front pass for print. Um, I think that's a little ridiculous uh, for this particular model because I feel like there's probably a lot of other models in the mixes uh, throughout the year that could have got a little bit more love a little bit more print but this one does say for all your moving needs fast reliable transportation on the side unit number five print on the front does look good of course this has no interior uh, no interior at all it was retooled to remove the interior there is the base deets s04 is our mix number base code for this particular mix all right, moving on to the Jeep Gladiator, 2020 Jeep Gladiator. Uh, now, so far, this guy has donned 
simple side print um, his entire life uh, for every version we've seen thus far. Um, obviously has that really nice off-road wheel that it's a little bit bigger than the majority of the wheels, so they can't just necessarily stick that wheel on any model they want. So, you know, the Jeep always gets it. That Nissan Titan truck they did gets them. Um, there's one or two, I think, models that they also put them on. Um, but Jeeps tend to get them uh, over everything else, and I think they look great. These ones look fantastic with just the red ring on there. Um, but just basic prints on it. Uh, no rear prints on this guy, so they do get a little bit of a taillight print on the side pass which isn't too bad. Um, I really like the direction that Matchbox had done with the Rubicon and just giving it with all the panels and everything removed off of it. Um, it obviously cuts down the weight, which seems to be a problem for them, but it just looks super, super cool. Definitely one of the best ones in the mix. There is the Deets on the bottom. So casting has been around for a few years thus far. All right, JDM fans and US fans alike. This is our 94 3000 GT in red, just gloss red, which looks fantastic. Looks really good with the D10s. Um, not sure how this would look with the five spokes, but I'm pretty sure we're probably going to see five spokes at some point in time. Uh, but this one does have lensed headlights, which is a relatively rare thing for Matchbox. Um, they don't do that hardly at all. Um, but this one was a perfect candidate to do that. You see your Mitsubishi logo on the front. The corner lights are printed up as well because, of course, they are. And, of course, you get full print in the back. Of course, this is uh, looking just, you know, perfect. It's just such a good casting. They did such a good job with this casting. There are your base Deets 1292. Of course, the man number on this one, S05. Really like that one a lot. Prints look pretty good. Not too shabby. All right, moving on to something that is a huge polar opposite compared to that guy. Uh, 1975 Opal Cadet in just a metallic orange. Um, this one was a new casting last year. Uh, got some side pass prints, and then, of course, they had the whole full rear print just like this one does last year. But last year did not get any front end prints. And, of course, this one does get some headlights done up, which makes a world of difference. Um, just looks really good. I really like the... Just the center print on the disc hub wheels. I mean, this this is a fantastic. Obviously, we don't have a whole lot of versions to compare it to because this is only the second time we're seeing the casting. But um, obviously, this one is leaps and bounds better than the previous one with the white and yellow. Of course, it does say cadets on the plate, which looks pretty good. Those prints are fantastic. And then, of course, there is the front end print. So the grill is printed up and so are the headlights. That looks pretty good. And then just your base deets looking pretty fancy. All right, next one up, another car. We're going to go with the Tesla Roadster in silver. Um, I think this casting, now that we get a bright color on it, um, really helps just bring the detail of the casting and how good of a casting this really is. Now, obviously, some people may say, well, there was the white one that was from the Mattel Creations. And that's true, uh, but that one was a matte white. And it was super limited and uh, not available to the masses per se because you had to be, you know, I had to order it from Mattel Creations, but it was still a pretty good one. Uh, this one looks good. A little bit of, little bit of blue tint to that silver. Um, but, of course, front and rear tampons on this one as well does have a plate. And, of course, it says zero emissions because, of course, it does. Take a look at the base deeds on this one, S03. That is kind of like an etched, uh, kind of like a laser etch um, that they're doing now rather than stamping. So that's kind of why it's got that weird color to it. But there is your Tesla Roadster. All right, brand spanking new casting. Only one in the mix. Um, but it is a licensed casting because that is a majority of what they do these days. There are not too many unlicensed things um, coming down the pipeline. So... That is one good thing going for us. This is your Polaris Ranger. Of course, a workhorse does have a dump bed on the back on the real one. Uh, truck bed and stuff like that. This one looks pretty good. does have quite a bit of tampo on it, which is a fitting thing. It is first edition, so I feel like they should put a little bit more print, uh, a little bit more detail into it. So it does have full front prints and then, of course, rolls to the sides. We'll take a look at those here in a minute. Interior looks pretty good. Um, all the matte black color is metal. And then, of course, the rest of it is plastic. Does use the utility wheel. 
um, to great effect. Looks pretty good. As far as that print on the side, just say Ranger EV. There you go. Nothing doing on the back. This is a brand new casting, so there you go. S04 is the day code. MB1356 is your man number on the brand. Spank a new 2020 Polaris Ranger EV. I didn't realize that was EV, but it is an EV. Not just a Polaris Ranger, but an EV Ranger. All right. As we typically do, we will take a look at our Super. And, of course, we will crack it uh, in real time so that we can take a look at this. Um, crack the plastic on the back. Get this guy to slide out. It does come with a little protector in the back. We'll throw him down. That is the CLA shooting break. Now, we've only seen this casting once. Uh, it was brand new casting either last year or the year before. Actually, you know, I think we've seen it twice. Um, if However many times we've seen it, it's on the screen. I do apologize. It gets kind of uh, hard to remember everything. But regardless, brand new version here. Um, it's an okay casting. I'm not a huge fan of this casting. Um, I think this one looks pretty good. The wheel choice is not all that great on this particular one. But, of course, it is a Super Chase, so it does have full print all the way around, front, rear, and sides. This one in gloss black. Of course, it does say Super Chase all over it. SC just plastered all over it to make sure you don't forget exactly what it is. But not too bad. Not too bad. Definitely could take a new wheel. But uh, we'll definitely take what we can get. There is the deets on the front. I think the prints look really good on the front. That grill looks especially nice. Uh, really, really good details in there with that one. To say Mercedes Benz. Not the greatest wheel, obviously. There is the rear hatch shooting brake space. There is your base seats on this one, S05, of course. Same as the rest of the mix. So there you go. That is mix number five. That is the PKs, which is the E mix. Gets kind of confusing, but there you go. So let me know what you guys think about that mix. Um, not too shabby, uh, decent sized mix. And um, just happy to get a, a super chase again. Uh, we should be getting one more this year for sure. So we'll see what happens. But appreciate you guys. Thank you very much. Don't forget to subscribe. Catch you next time. Level him. Peace.